just wanted to give y'all a heads up. If you're thinking about going to Headwaters in Florida, just be prepared that this is what the back of your truck will look like. Two takeaways from Headwaters. Number one, they ain't biting. And a four mile long dirt road ain't worth it. Right, what's going on? We made it down to Palaka, Florida for the first Bassmaster League Series event. We got a day off in between now and practice, but uh, been out here in Florida for a while. Been fishing with a couple buddies of mine. And we ain't caught them that good. We've caught them decent. Haven't caught them that great. <clears throat> been really doing a lot of fishing, less filming. We have not filmed very much at all this trip. It's just been kind of a, a fishing trip. But we did get some fish catches on video. This is just going to kind of be a recap of the last week in Florida. I guess we caught some big ones, caught some nice ones, had fun, but uh, just didn't film it the way we should have. So it's going to bring it to y'all like this. For the boat. We done, filled, we done filled a truck up a couple times today. We're headed to the Winter Haven chain for a few days. Fished here a few months ago. Really, really liked it actually. Like I really like the way it sets up. So we're gonna go back today and uh, try to catch us a daggone bass or two over here in the Winter Haven chain. I don't know what they're gonna be doing. Could be spawning already. Could be not even on the bank and offshore in some grass and hard spots, stuff like that. So do keep an open mind, jump around. Got a ton of rods in the boat, way more than I should have. So I think we can cover all our dang bases today. But it's a mud fish. <laughs> I got destroyed my line. Right weight, wrong species. Well, I put there like a dang super hot bed fish. I put it in there and he'll up on it, dude. Oh. I'm here, you ain't getting off that 22. Had to do it. First bass, of I mean, first fish of Florida was not a bass. But I had to do it, man. Had to get your line pulled on every once in a while. What was that guy? Was that a fish? I think it's on. Are you just. What? I almost broke my back. Got him? Look what he caught, y'all. <laughs> Look what he got. You almost broke your back. I almost failed. That sucker thunked it, dude. What, that leaf? There wasn't no leaf. I was way past the leaf. That lily pad? I mean. I can come up here and get that sucker. Yes, sir. First Florida bass of the year. I had two bites, quite a bit bigger than that. Have not hooked either one of them. That's my first Florida bass of the year. I take a couple like that during tournament day. About nine o'clock in the morning when I got three five pounders. I'll take me a couple like this and feel my limit. Just settle me down some, but pretty one. All right, I'm gonna come down. All right, I should be good whenever. Take off whenever you're ready. I hear before. Yeah. We're down here in Florida, fishing on a small little local lake down here, and we are looking for bed fish dobbing around flipping a little bit throwing frog a little bit just trying to kind of get a feel for what's going on out here just trying to catch the bass or two not that it's going to help us on, a, on the st john's or harris chain but really just trying to set the hook a few times so it's been fun i did catch my first bed fish of the year so far and we're about to go try to find us a, another one of them or two so let's go Did I, oh, did it stick, did it stick? That fucking hurt. Look, y'all. 
crowd is I wasn't recording. Uh, dude, was, but he literally yeah. just hit me with a giant you fish. See the fins? See the fins broke off? You might have one in your leg. Like he just hit me with that fish. The fins are all the dorsal fins are all broke. You might have one in your leg. No, I feel it. It's in there? Yeah. I'm not sure if y'all know this because I didn't put it in there, but the other day when we were at the small little local lake and Kyle <laughs> caught the seven pounder, he set the hook a little while after that on a swim jig. Was it a swim jig or an invader? It was a flipping bait. It was a flipping bait. Okay, so. Three eighths ounce weight. Three eighths ounce weight. He hit me directly in the finger from the hook set. And if y'all have seen Kyle fish, you know he sets the hook pretty hard. And then he just hit me with a fish. I'm sorry. I ain't trying to hurt you, Hunter. You out here just putting in all the work you possibly can, and I'm just beating you to death. <laughs> Dude, you know how my line normally slings back when I set the hook? It's so deep. So deep. I feel it. He's in there. He's set up a lot of things. He's just taking it. He might be smaller than I see it. Okay, so that's about how big he looked like he was, honestly. But he was so deep, I just thought he'd weigh a little more than that. So we're going to weigh him anyways and just see how big he is. My guess was 2.3. That is no longer my guess. Now I think he's like a 135. We're going to a bucket list destination today for a lot of people. And you know it's got big bass in it because we are already off the pavement. And I will say we've got another three miles to go down this dang dirt road, which, uh, look, I'm from Alabama. I'm not, you know, I'm not too good for a dirt road. I'm just saying, when you go into a boat ramp that's got four miles of dirt road, probably a daggum big and living in that lake somewhere. So, uh, hopefully we can set the hook on one or two of those today, but already left the pavement in search of big bass. There we go, baby. That's how I want to catch him. Hee <laughs> hee, that's fun right there, dude. Look at that. That's that new Gamakatsu G Power hook. Four alt through his noggin. That's a little fat sucker, dude. That's probably a little over two pounder, two and a quarter, but chunker. A little Florida place. We've been fishing for just a minute. I ain't been fishing that long today, so. You know, one thing that it's really important in Florida, and a lot of people want to say that there's a lot of, uh, you, need a, you need a few days of stability. And that's true for sure, but Florida's all about being stable, and today, I mean, it's been bad weather for a while, and today it's going to be calm. Like, it's going to be calm and warm today, and even though it might not warm that water temperature up too much, just the conditions and the pressure and how it feels is what the fish are looking for. So, the water temp may not increase as much as we need it to, but the fish are going to be able to feel it, that there are, there's time to, uh, eat my daggum bait so you know one thing that i've done every single year pretty much like without question is i've varied my punching rod from seven six to like eight foot and everything in between i mean what i've came to gather is it's kind of a preference deal and i kind of like using those a little bit shorter rods seven six seven eight seven nine i don't really like the eight footer because i feel like getting in there super accurately and getting in being able to control the bait you know better is more important than being able to have a little bit more length rod after you set the hook so this rod i'm using is a 79 envy this is a 79 heavy it's got a it's got a pretty good bit of load pretty good bit of tip to it i really really like it but i think uh when i was when i caught that 10 pounder actually i was using a 76 rod and then i've punched with eight footers also and stuff like that but i really like that little bit shorter rod 79 like it's not short but just having that going from eight to seven nine the rod feels a lot more manageable feels like i can control the bait a whole lot better so don't feel like just because you're punching you have to have you know one of those eight foot long rods you can definitely use a seven six heavy and punch i've caught a lot of big ones punching with just a regular seven six heavy but uh you know i just kind of fluctuate and don't think you got to have a certain rod for it you can kind of do whatever suits your style No, dude, I don't Bass fishing just ain't that easy, dude. If you want to know the truth about it, it just ain't that daggum easy. <clears throat> we go to Texas, 
Florida, New York. New York's actually pretty good, but. Watch them follow it to the bottom. <laughs> oh, wee. He little though. He little though. He little though. Put some them uh, metal little rings on there. And then you can just you just throw it out and catch a fish. You just, yeah, it's Florida. You just throw it out and catch it. Yeah. This is like intro number five. Five days in a row, and we haven't made an outro yet. That means we ain't caught jack. I mean, ain't caught nothing. So this is the second day of it being warm in Florida, though. Consecutive days in a row of a warming trend. That's whenever they bite down here. So got my buddy Ricky with me today. We're gonna they test out bite. some stuff. Try to catch some. He's like the Florida fish whisperer. He catches more nine pounders down here than anybody I know. So that's what we're gonna try to catch today. Nine? Really? <laughs> Shoot. We'll see. It was a test, really, in the first lake, because yeah. it was fish kill. Yeah. They killed every one of them in there. Yeah. I wanted to see what you would do, because you... So now we're 100% certain there are zero bass in that first lake, because yeah. we would have for sure for caught sure. them. And we, we did hear, though, I think there's 11 bass in this lake, 11. So if we catch 11, we caught every single bass in this lake. So that's the goal. Catch us 11 bass over here. And we'll catch three right here. Three are, three are right there in that isolated thing of pads. There's 11 pads right there, What bass on each one. That's what you call product testing. We're out here trying to dial in, you know, 13 has a ton of rods, a ton of different like skews and a ton of different price points and all that. So we're, I haven't put my hands on every single one of them yet, but I put my hands on most of them. We're trying to kind of trying to dial that in a little bit today. And we're also testing some new stuff and some super high end stuff. So pretty cool. We got everything on the boat today and I've probably got another 35 in the rod lockers. So we got plenty of rods today. Oh my gosh. Dude, that's a giant, dude. Look at that one. Get him, get him, get him, get him. It's a bass. Dude, they live here. All it's right, 10 more to go. Magnums. That's funny. Look at this. Come on, dude. Hell yeah, dude. Magnums, dude. Hold them upside down like that, that looks way bigger. Wrapped up, dude. That's how you test them, right there. You see that? Yeah, I know. That's why I was worried about it. Hee <laughs> hee. Tell them we had the camera off. We had the camera off for like 10 in a row. 13 fishing was through. Get out of here, dude. Get him in the boat. Do in this little divot, I was going to catch him. That's why I was high telling him up here. Hey, hey, hey. Finally catching him. Bob, like the other day of St. John's, get a sent home crying. I'm already burned out from catching them all. <laughs> I'm so worn out. It's super heavy. That's for like fishing like 12, 10, 8 foot of water. Hold on, I got a fish. Oh my God. Yeah. Yeah. That bullet kicked up a there pretty big too. Yeah. Oh, it fell. Look at it, it's steel bullet. So we're on his small little local lake today. Yeah, Lake Axe with giants in it. I've been fishing for a while today, actually. Have not caught a bite, caught a bass. I don't even think I've had a bite today. So I had to call in the reinforcements. Got Ricky back in the boat See, last today. time you said this, though, that this wasn't very good. Local lake. Yeah, look, I'm no. A, this is what you have. Look, you have to fish under pressure. 
This is under pressure. We're down here for practice. So we got to win. Yeah, we have to win today. 24 pounds. Yeah. We have to beat that boat over there. Yeah. Some of the local fishermen over there challenge us. Some local guy in there. We're trying to crush souls today. Literal crush souls today. But today, I literally ain't had a bite. Been out here for a while. Wait, well, there's bass in this place. There are bass in here. Pretty one. Look at that. All these Florida bass got this in their mouth. And parasites. They don't know what to do about it. But I hate leaving them in there. Got me one. A little better. If y'all don't know me, and y'all are new to the channel, I love catching a bed fish. It's like my favorite thing to do. It's something I've leaned on every single time I've been to Florida. That's a good finish to doing it. Last year we had a decent, okay, like acceptable finish doing it. Not good, but uh, the show is fun.